So we came to United States. I mean, to New York. We came in 1995, and we were there until 2007. So we were there for 10 years. Now only for this uh, last three, three and a half, we've been here in St. Louis. So we were in New York, and uh, in the same time, um, as I said, my father was working on the as a photographer, and then one day it was December of 1997. He came home and he carried just like a scanner. We already bought the computer. And he was like, I got a new project. I was like, what now? Because he's always like inventing something. I was like, what now? He was like, I'm gonna make a newspaper. It was supposed to be just a local. You know, for New York people, because there was about twenty-five thousand ish of Bosnians, but they're not all from you know Bosnia. They're from Montenegro, but they speak same language. So during the day we were all at work and school and everything else. During the night when we came home, we were doing the newspaper together. Me, him, and my mom, three of us, putting it together. My mom had a great computer knowledge. And in that time, we didn't know about the programs. I mean, we didn't use the programs. We were like uh, making like just one column in the Microsoft Word, and then like cutting it and pasting it. I mean, like put, gluing it on the paper. It was unbelievable. Little by little, uh, people got like, the minimum you can print, it was a thousand copies. So in that time, we, Print thousand, we throw away nine hundred, and only a hundred was sold or taken. So that's how we started, and then um, all the checks that we made, we had to put like into the newspaper to print it. You know, every week we bring checks from work. All of us, three of us, leave some just a little for the food, and then the rest of it went to the printing. There was a guy who I was in contact from St. Louis because of my other job that I had. Um, I was doing marketing for um, electronic dictionaries. And uh, I spoke to him and he said, I'm in St. Louis and here is a lot of Bosnians. It was like in a 2000-ish, something like that, maybe 1999 or 2000. And I was like, where is that? He said, you know St. Louis, it has a big arch. It, you know, the city is known for the big arch. And I'm like, I have no idea never been, you know, to the mid of the United States. And uh, I went, we were like more focused on the East Coast in that time. He said, well, it's a nice city, it's okay, this and that. I was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. And then he was like, do you know Cardinals? And I'm like, please leave me alone with the baseball because we really, most of the Bosnians don't, don't have a clue about baseball. And uh, he said it's a nice city. He was surprised he has so many Bosnians here. Right? And he came back, he was like talking about St. Louis, how cheap it is, how, you know, nice houses, uh, open space. It's not like New York where you're like surrounded by buildings. And he was like, okay, maybe, um, maybe you should go and visit. So he came here and I was surprised because it's a little Bosnia, definitely. It's like a little Bosnia with American standard. And in, during the, those two weeks, I made a decision that we're gonna move here. And I already like put a down payment on the house, you know, for them to build. I went back to New York, make, made all the arrangements, and that's how we came. We started off in New York, as I said, with 100 issues, and now we are up to 50,000. And we are proud of that. I believe like if somebody told my dad in that time when, you know, he had a new project that he's going to be, uh, you know, that's going to become a nationwide paper, I think he would get scared. But it was just, a, you know, people were calling from other cities, they, you know, they come to visit to New York, they visit a friend and they see the newspaper. It was something new, so everybody wanted. So we decided to have the subscription and start sending it little by little. It was, and then uh, there is other community. So he decided to start traveling and you know do the marketing, and that's how we spread. Um, Sabah means sunrise, 
and it's been a sunrise for us. Mm -hmm.